Hi, my name is Tom Winter. I'm the editor at large of Free Skier Magazine, and I like to ski in the backcountry. That pretty much drives all my gear choices because really, if you're going outside the ropes, what you need is going to be a lot different than what you're using if you're skiing park and pipe or mostly inbounds. Let's take a look at some of my gear. My daily driver is a pair of Liberty Double Helixes. At 120 underfoot, they're pretty fat for inbound skiing, but they actually work well on the groomers. With a bamboo core, they're really light, lively, a lot of fun, and I mount them up with a pair of Marker Dukes. That binding allows me to go in and outside the ropes at will, do a little bit of touring, a fun ski, a great ski out west, and it's my daily driver. For really deep days, or if I'm gonna be in the backcountry all day long just skiing pow, I use a pair of Vocal Cures. This ski has a wood core, another very light ski, which is important when you're doing a lot of touring in the backcountry. Also mounted up with a pair of Marker Dukes. Fully rockered. Hey, you'll be smiling at the end of the day when you ski powder with these babies. For poles, I use a Scott Team Issue pole. I like these poles because they're durable and tough and they're light. And really, that's what you need out of a pair of poles. Something that's not gonna break when you catch it on a rock, snag it in the trees, or hit the cameraman over the head. For my boots, I use the Lang Super Blaster. They're a great high performance boot that's very versatile. Replaceable heel and toes. I do a lot of hiking. That's the first part of your boot that wears out and it's important to have a good interface with your bindings. So you wanna be able to replace your heel and toes if you're doing a lot of hiking. Micro adjustable buckles, canting, and oh baby, plush, plush interior. Hey, it doesn't hurt to be warm, cozy, and comfortable when you ski. I could say that I use Scott's fixed goggle because they match my fancy Lang boots, but actually, I've been using Scott for years. They have great optics, they don't fog, and I can see well in the worst of storms. And that's important, being able to see where the hell you're going. For outerwear, I use Truth Clothing. This is a small company out of Hood River, Oregon. I like supporting the little guys, and these guys actually are worthy of the support. They use Gelinot's waterproof breathable technology in their jackets and pants. They make a nice tight line, cool colors, good fit, and highly technical. Nice stuff. For gloves, I'm rocking level. They make great product, good durability. They're warm, functional, keep my hands dry. That's what you want in a pair of gloves. When you're skiing in the backcountry, you're always carrying extra gear. Water, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, lots of other stuff. The Pro 2 Pack from Dekind is my choice for going in and out of the ropes. One of the great things about Dekind is they're one of the few people who make packs that understanding having a full zip open back compartment allows you to have easy, simple access for the gear. It means I can keep my camera cube in here, get to it quickly, also any of my other gear. What's nice about this is when you're in snowy conditions, you just take the pack off, lay it face down on the snow, pop the back open, and you can access everything you need that you're carrying inside your pack. It's the only type of pack to buy, in my opinion. When I'm on assignment or taking photos of my friends, I also carry this Dekind camera cube inside my pack. One of the things I like about Dekind products for your cameras is they're fully customizable. This one's set up for my D200. Also, keep my little GoPro point of view camera in here. This thing easily fits inside of a backpack and it gives you extra protection for this stuff because hey, it doesn't come cheap. One of the toys you're gonna find in my Dekind camera bag is this little GoPro camera. This is a fun little toy, shoots a lot of point of view and has all sorts of decent attachments to go on your skis, on your helmet, or even on your chest. It's great for shooting video that you can put on YouTube or on the web or just share with your friends. This Arsenal shovel from Backcountry Access has a metal blade, crucial for getting through icy snow and digging out someone who might have been caught in a slide. It also has a probe that fits inside the handle. Don't fool yourself, probe poles don't work very well. If you really want efficiency and simplicity, get something from Backcountry Access where everything's all integrated into one nice lightweight package. I also use the Tracker Beacon for Backcountry Access. The first digital beacon on the market. It's very easy to use, simple, and efficient for searches. Probably the most important piece of safety gear I carry. Finally, 
I use a black diamond Avalon. You always want to try to avoid getting caught in an avalanche, but if you are personally caught in an avalanche, this device may just save your life. What you do is you breathe through the tube and it ventilates behind you so you don't die of suffocation. Check out the videos on the web. Just Google Avalon. So out in time winter, whatever you use, have fun out there and stay safe. For more info on all the 2010 product, pick up a copy of the Free Skier Buyer's Guide or check it out online at freeskier.com.